Uh, testing. Testing. One, two, three. Uh, seems this is working. At least I think. Audio to the switch seems to be working fine too. Oh, Arrow, hey. Well, uh, that's someone's actually watching. Hey, hey, and Heidi ho it's Kageichi, your panda bro. And, uh, welcome to another stream. God, I really have to think of better intros for this. But, uh, any case, um, start us off. Uh, you probably can see, but, uh, yeah, I got me a PNG tuber thing going on now. Uh, big help to, uh, my little bro, uh, Baloo, or Fubaruba on YouTube or Twitter if you, um, watch him. But, uh, he helped me out in making this for, like, uh, when I stream with him on his Monster Hunter Let's Play. And, uh, he showed me how to make one myself. And now here we are. So, uh, I would have played more Klonoa today, but, uh, if you guys remember from last time, um like, way back, uh, I was kind of doing a bit of a, hmm, what would I call it, a gun vault -a, a gun vault marathon, either way, I was just binging pretty much all the Azure Striker gun vault games, including the spin-offs, Luminous Avenger X, well, it's time we continue that, as today is the release date of Azure Striker gun vault 3. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Azure Striker Man. <laughs> Not sure how that works, but let's just go into this. All right. English, voices, English, DLC, oh, uh, yeah, I guess I, they would do, like, some DLC stuff later on, uh, yeah, a second, no, 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 that's right, okay, alrighty, story mode, Let's go. At least since it's in English, I don't have so to like voice Sumerari anything. Futures Institute of Technology. And this is our main, uh, one of our main characters, the new girl, Kirin. The Sumeragi Group is the largest corporation in the country. And the fruits of their cutting edge research are gathered inside. If they're hiding it anywhere, it would be here. My organization, Shadow Yakumo, has already done everything they could to deal with the situation through legitimate means. But Sumaragi insisted on feigning ignorance from start to finish. Don't take this personally, Sumaragi. It's the secret you're keeping that's to blame. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo, moving out! A shame, really. I like hearing you voice at the lines. Ooh. Dragon Slayer. Low roar rumbles beneath the earth, portending a future ruled by destruction. Priestess of Feathers encounters the beast. Oh, she got a badass intro. Nothing to mess around with. Mm. Uh, hang on a sec. I feel like I should. Maybe I should like shrink uh my little PNG so I can get a better look at stuff. I think that's a uh, about a good enough size to see everything. 
Yeah, that should be good. Alright. Oh, hey there, uh, Clover. Nice of you to join us. Hold up, did I post about... Oh. Just a second. <laughs> I thought I posted, uh, the link for the, uh, the stream on Twitter, too, but, uh... Where was I? GB is heavily inspired by Mega Man X after all. Mega Man is jump and shoot. Yep. Oh, and this game always reminds me of Mega Man Zero. This is more this is more like Mega Man Zero now. Cause uh if I remember right, Kirin is actually a swords swordswoman. Even so, this thing isn't going to keep me from completing my mission. Kirin, battle priestess of Shadow Yukumo, coming through! All right, let's strike. The barrier nullifies all ballistic impacts from the outside. Looks like normal attacks won't have any effect. I bet what? if I can attach enough talismans to it, my staff can break through. Hmm, okay. So, throwing her talismans, like, weaken an enemy to the point that you can actually, like, one-shot them. All thanks to the- Who's that? An out of talent. Stay out of business. Yep. Sorry, but don't worry. I won't kill you. If you want to blame someone, blame your superiors for keeping dangerous secrets. You say you won't kill them, but you're pretty much killing them right now. <laughs> if this facility is actually clean, Shadow Yakuma will have a lot of explaining to do. Oops. An unprecedented number of glaives in this village. There's no way things here are on the up and up. Sounds like their secret is in a pretty bad mood. Oop. Man, there was something over there. Oh, I could get it. Oh well, another time. Ooh, checkpoint. Taste in laser traps, but I won't let that stop me from getting through here. Woo! <laughs> One day you'd like to see Kage complete a GB level with no damage and no checkpoints. Uh, I'm not that good, dude. Stuff like this takes me back to my early training days at Shadow Yakuma. Ooh, collectible. Need to be careful not to step on any spiky floors. They won't take you down in one hit, but they really suck. They really hurt. If I can jump in the middle of a dash, I can jump further than normal. Just like, whoosh. Oops. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know how to PNG tube now, thanks to, uh, Baloo for showing me how. Ow! According to the mission briefing, it should be located in the deepest section of the basement. I wonder if she could still deflect bullets, like, if they didn't like the, al the alpha demo. I'm getting some real bad vibes. I keep getting stronger. I guess the primal dragon's close. Ouch. I believe the primal dragon is supposed to be Gunball in this game. 
Time to move on. Kieran. No doubt about it. That is a massive amount of graves. Ugh, it's like a graveyard in no here. no idea how much trouble it was to forge all those swords. So I think we're gonna meet Gunvolt right now. Like it really was here. Huh? What's this about? Uh, who are you? If you want, hun, at a later time, I can add different expressions and mouth movements to your. Oh, yeah, I, I'd really like that. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, hun. Monsters awaken to power beyond Septimas, ascending even Adepts. Wait, so that's Gunvolt right now? It really is a dragon. I heard it was bad, but that thing doesn't even look human anymore. <laughs> Barging in here like that? <laughs> rude. E expediently rude, I say. What in tarnation do you want? I am Kirin from Shadow Yakumo. I'm here to clean up the mess you made. If you want to leave here alive, I suggest you get out while you still can. Shadow Yakumo? The ones who control the glaives? Did they figure out that our reply was less than honest? But, but I must say, we haven't done anything wrong. Without all these glaives, we'd never be able to keep him in check. Whoa, what happened to Gonfall? Uh, from what I've seen in, like, um, previews and s summaries and stuff, he, like, awakened to a new power and, s um, stronger than, like, the adepts. It looked like the power overtook him? The glaives aren't capable of suppressing this much power. He turned into Galaxy Eye's Photon Dragon. Oh, I, gu I guess so, yeah. I think I remember seeing that dragon in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's escaping! Uh-oh. Oh crap. Aw, he got like butterfly wings like Lumen too. It actually looks really nice too. I, I like the design. I've never played a Gunvolt game, but I want to try it. Hey, I'll give it a try. It's a, it's a fun series. He broke the seal? This never came up in our simulations! <laughs> As always, our soothsayer's prediction was right on time. Too on time if you ask me. If we had this prediction sooner, things could have been much less messy. Oh well. Hey you, Lord of Dragons! I'll take that power and bind it properly with my radiant fetters. All right. Your Let's... fate is sealed. Let's fight Dragon Gunvolt, I guess. Why no? I've no issues for decades. It was accumulating power beneath the surface the entire time it was sealed away. If you had simply come clean with us, we could have worked together on this. None of this would have needed to happen. <laughs> hey, take it easy. I got this. Using my radiant fetter septima. I'll have no problem stopping you. Will you? Too close. Oh crap. Not too, not too bad. Dragon Gunvolt could inhale of the priestess. <laughs> its power is weakening. Now's my chance.
Ah, uh, she does a ceiling kiss. <laughs> That's definitely anime trope right there. What happened? I'm not berserk anymore. The glaives were only barely keeping me in check. Azure Striker Gunvolt, former primal dragon and wielder of the world's most powerful Septima. You must take responsibility for what is about to occur, Gunvolt. Responsibility? About to occur? Who are you? I'm Kieran of Shadow Yakumo, and I'm here to borrow your power. Unfortunately, this will be the only time we see Dragon Gunvolt up close. Any attempt in summoning him will, would always result in hand trap negates. <laughs> GB glow up meme. Turns into Final Fantasy VII Cloud. Eh, that's just kind of funny. Image chips. Wait, what's this? I guess I'll go work on a new theme song for the Dragon Saviors. Hey, Lumen! And Monica? From Dra Gunvolt 1? Wait, did they put a freaking gotcha system in Gunvolt? changed forever when humans with strange new powers known as Septimus began to appear. Do you play Master Duel? I, I, I played a little bit of it, though, uh, um, I, I don't play, really play a lot now. As more of these adepts appeared, the world was thrown into chaos. In our country, the Sumeragi group used technology to bring peace and order while seizing power. I hope they didn't. God just sucks. Well, maybe that's more of like a clear thing, like a clear mission kind of thing. However, they were only able to maintain that illusory peace through human experiments on countless numbers of adepts. Perhaps it was inevitable that a group of rebels would appear to fight against Sumeragi and their artificial peace. Even I, Gunvolt, once counted myself among the members of a rebel group. The battle was long and grueling. When it was over, I found myself awakened to a new power that was a step above Septimus, the Primal Dragon. Its power is both dangerous and uncontrollable. I surrendered to Sumeragi, my enemy. By using me as a research subject, they were able to seal away the out of control power, but Last thing we need is loot boxes in our video games. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before such a shoddily constructed seal would break. Our soothsayer at Shadow Yakumo gave a single prediction just the other day, actually. They said the primal dragons and the ruler who creates and controls them would appear. You think I'm the ruler of the primal dragons? Yep, but it's gonna be okay. Because my Radiant Fetter Septima was able to completely seal away your Primal Dragon. Of course, now we have a new problem on our hands. Sumeragi totally cornered the energy market while you were sealed away. They were using the crazy amounts of energy you were leaking to provide electricity to the entire country. They even called their energy division Gunvolt Electric. They're probably regretting that one now. And leave it to a big evil company to use power from like some out of control like monster kind of thing to like make a profit. The energy you gave off was also emitting dragon radiation. 
That's energy waves that can turn other adepts into primal dragons. Are you serious? Just a little exposure doesn't seem to be a problem. That's why no one noticed how dangerous dragon radiation was until now. Pretty sure that's Gungvo she's talking to, but why is the icon different? Many decades have passed since you were sealed away. Decades? Oh, right, yeah. After all that time being exposed to dragon radiation, primal dragons are starting to appear among the adept population. Gunvolt, you may not have meant to cause this problem, but you will help me solve it. If it's been decades since, like, Gunvolt 1 and 2, then, like, I guess being the primal dragon kind of made Gunvolt a bit of an immortal. Because he still basically looks like he's a, a teen. I will have you work with me as I seal away these primal dragons. No objections here. If this is my sin, I will atone for it. But... Why exactly have I turned into this... dog thing? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's the do it's a dog that looked like him in the cover! So, he actually transformed into like a... a dog kind of familiar? So, after the fight with Keating, I briefly returned to my original form, but almost immediately after, I turned into... this. <sighs> I have no idea either. This is my first time sealing a primal dragon after all. Well, he does look like a Van uh, card fight Vanguard card. Uh, it was one I liked from like when I first watched card fight Vanguard. I forgot what it was called though. I didn't know my fetters could cause something like this. Maybe it's because you were a primal dragon for so long? <laughs> it's a good look on you, though. Very cute. Anyway, thanks to our negotiations with Sumaragi, you and I will be joining the Sumaragi group as legitimate employees. Oh, so that's why he had the Sumaragi's logo on his new outfit. Gotta have Sumaragi take responsibility for their actions, right? The Bureau of Dragon Saviors. An anti-primal dragon task force with just two members. I can't believe they agreed to this. Hey, Kidding, what gives? I even look like a dog on my company ID. <laughs> oh, that's weird, huh? You gotta be kidding me. A few weeks passed have passed since the Dragon Saviors were formed. Hi, Kitty! How's it going? Getting used to life at Sumeragi? Oh, and there's Lumen. Hey, Lumen! It's pretty amazing here. There's some real state-of-the-art tech that's even nicer than what Shadow Yukumo has. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you know I'm a part of that state-of-the-art tech, right? Come on, you're still your own Septima. You're just pretending to be their technology. That's right. Lumen has the latest model of AI idol developed by Sumeragi. That's what they tell the public, at least. The truth is that she was created by Kirin and I combining our Septimus to make an image pulse. My Azure Striker can give a physical form to images based on memories of adepts I've encountered in the past. However, since adepts themselves are so complex, the image dissipates almost immediately. That's when we use talismans prepared by Kirin's radiant fetters as a medium. The image is then sealed in place, creating an image pulse. Naturally, a recreated Septima is no match for the real thing, but we can still use a variety of Septimal powers. There are many kinds of image pulses, such as passive ones that enhance one's abilities, as well as skills that resemble those of the original adept. To acquire an image pulse, we need to find image fragments called image chips during missions. Picking them up will earn us image pulses once the mission is complete. Come to think of it, why don't you try equipping that image pulse we just got? You can equip it by opening the menu and selecting it on the passive image pulse screen. With that equipped, you'll be able to use my privation ability. 
Got it. I'll be able to give it a try later. It's so strange, though. Every other image pulse we created hasn't said a thing. Then there's Lumen, acting like she's living and breathing. I can't be sure of the cause. But for a while, Lumen was a part of me. I was eventually able to release her, but that might have something to do with it. I guess. She was someone really important to you, right? Maybe that's why. Anything is possible. Alright. So, we got some intel and stuff. Like, especially new abilities that Gunvold and Kirin can do together. That image pulse that lets them make, like, physical copies of past, um, past characters from Gunvolt, Gunvolt's memories. So he can just call out, uh, like, different bosses and stuff to have them, uh, do, like, assist attacks. That's actually pretty cool. Or, like, do passive stuff, like, uh, like he said. But speaking of, uh, passive image pulses. Okay, so I could put two on right now. Lumen. Consumes three to four talismans to activate the pervasion ability. Okay. Monica. Increases EXP gain by 20%. Nice. Image pulse gotcha. Well, it... Hmm. I guess it's kind of like it, but also not. As it said, you ha you just collect uh, image chips while um, on the stage, um, and that's how you get them. Though I guess maybe whatever you get can be randomized depending on uh, how many image um, chips you get. <laughs> well, who knows? Either way, it's still pretty interesting. As long as the gotcha system doesn't hurt your wallet, I'm fine with it. Exactly. Alright. Downtown Christmas. Oh! Mm -hmm. Briefing. I'm detecting a lot of dragon radiation downtown. This is more than I've ever felt before. So, a primal dragon has finally shown up. One that isn't me, I mean. <laughs> Spared in Fortnite, that's for sure. Okay, I just contacted Sumaragi's peacekeepers. They should be able to evacuate the citizens from the area by the time we arrive. The guy on the line gave me an earful about deploying on Christmas Eve, though. Ah, oh, it is Christmas Eve. Come on, let's stop that primal dragon. Oh wait, before I start... Usually get to chat uh, chat with like Lumen and people, so um, doing that would at least give you more of a chance to like be resurrected. So let's do that. Lumen was a popular virtual idol before I was even born, right? Before she was. Oh yeah, right. This is like decades before Gunvolt One and Two. So um, after Gunvolt One and Two, so this is like way in the future. <laughs> I bet no one would have guessed that she was a Septima. Lumen's identity was top secret. Only a few of Sumeragi's top brass knew the truth. We can thank them for allowing Lumen here to operate as a reboot of the original one. I'm afraid of seeing furry Gunvold on Twitter. Already? The furry artists ain't kidding around. Furry artists work fast. Yeah, that's for sure. Just, uh... <laughs> Just ask Arrow. He be doing it real. He be making art real fast. Don't you mean the long-awaited remodel, Lumen version 2.0? Either way, it's great having you around. The Bureau of Dragon Saviors is a brand new department here, and we're very combat-focused. A cute mascot like Lumen goes a long way to soften the opposition to us from inside and out. A cute mascot. You think that would that would have been Gunvolt since he's. Literally, a mascot shape right now. A cute mascot? I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Just who do you think is helping you search for signals of new primal dragons? And who else is going to show up in battle when you're totally out of HP and your fetters are about to wear off? Also, 
Lisa. Who keeps TV's rampage? Mostly under control. That's all thanks to my power. But it's not like you can always do that, right? Isn't it random? But, but I... Mm -hmm. You may not think so, Arrow, but when you put it, put your mind to it, you'll be doing like three, two to three commissions all, uh, all in one day. And that's really amazing. Don't take it too hard, Lumen. When I awaken with your power, I always feel stronger than ever. I don't know where I'd be without you. Well, that power is pretty close to a rampaging primal dragon, so we'd better not rely on it if we can help it. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I'll go work on a new theme song for the Dragon Saviors. Your bond with your comrades have deepened. All right, now let's go to downtown Christmas. Holy Night 13. Dragon's lamentful wail rings on Holy Night. Lone Reaper re revels in chaos, chanting curses at a world unjust. You okay, Kitty? This must be a walk in the park for you if you're already worrying about me. The Azure Striker sure is something. <sighs> That's not true. Okay, fine. Just focus on the mission, okay? I'm gonna keep you busy with my new technique. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yukumo slash Sumaragi. Moving out! And Doggy Gunvolt joins us. Seems like the citizens were able to evacuate safely. Ooh. This primal dragon picked a terrible <laughs> night to show up. Santa's got his work cut out for him. Ooh, I like this new move. Arc chain. <laughs> I like this move. Peacekeepers are going berserk. <laughs> The energy I'm sensing from him is the same as the primal dragon. It's not just the humans, even the robots are going crazy. You, but you gotta focus, Gunvolt. If you don't, you could lose your only chance to fix this. Easy, easy. It's like Shinobi from Sega Genesis. Huh. That device there is a chain lamp. Shadow Yakumo set them up to assist battle priestesses in their duties. I can use chain lamps as anchors for my arc chain. Hit it with a talisman, then use arc chain. Got it. Getting used to using pervasion? Pervasion will use your talismans to automatically avoid attacks. So it's incredibly useful. Just be aware though. Talismans used up by privation won't replenish over time. You'll need to quickly press down twice to restore your talismans when they run out. Keep that in mind. Talismans are crucial to my offensive abilities as well, so I need to stay on top of them. Try to keep up! I like it. At first glance, this may appear to be a dead end, but that won't stop this battle, Priestess. Use your arc chain to get some air. Then hit the next chain lamp with a talisman. Just keep using your arc chain repeatedly to climb up. Hmm. Let's see if it moves a bit further out. Damn it! Come on. Try to keep up. Move any closer. Oh, come on! Easy, easy. 
Oh, I got it. I wanted to get that. Oh, yeah. Even the early defense installations are going berserk. If I were in peak condition, I'd be able to use my Assure Striker to neutralize them, but... There's no time to worry about that crap. We just gotta work together and cut our way through. You're right. Try to keep up. Doesn't matter how we do it, as long as we get the job done. Whoopsie! And here comes Lumen with a song. There goes Siren, I think. Hey, Kitty. I was wondering. What exactly are those chain lamps? The principle behind them is similar to hexapiles. Originally, they were information terminals meant for Shadow Yakuma members to access data. But let's just say everyone has their own way of using them. What? Should you really be breaking them like that? They have self-repair modules that will have them fixed up in no time. Just gotta make sure no one finds out. Don't blame me if you end up with a massive repair bill. Hey there, Hada. It seems that Dispatch and the Peacekeeper has worked against us here. That's not entirely true. They did manage to evacuate the citizens in time. Hey, GB! Instead of blaming yourself, keep up. let's get the situation under control here! You two are right. I need to keep my head in the game. There's a hexapile down here. Try right. to keep up. Let's bust through and keep going. Gotta get all these goodies first. Let's go. One tough security shutter. Busting it open would be a Ooh. waste of time. All right, time Gunvolt. Time to unleash your power, Gunvolt. Tap for the switch. This is unbelievable. The power was so unstable before. But now I can control it. Oh snap! What was that? I can use my feel to adjust the output of your. I like grabbed it and did like a seismic drop on the thing. Be grateful. I need to train like crazy to pull off something like this. So this is all thanks to your grueling training? Thanks. It's a huge help. I should be able to output plenty of power now. My body feels so light. I have perfect air control as well. You should be able to jump anywhere you want now. Gotta make sure I'm nearby, though. I used to need special equipment to do this. But I guess I don't now thanks to your feathers. <laughs> it's not a big deal or anything. God damn! <laughs> like Gunvolt is sick in this one now. Come really through! <laughs> no, not at all. It may be because of the primal dragon transformation. It's as if my flash field is deferred in consciousness. But hey, my flash field protects me from certain attacks. So it's not. I can use my darts to teleport just like the action. Anything you can do, I should be able to imitate myself. That way you won't have to worry about me as you traverse an area. The arc chain is normal in the first place, so I'm not surprised. But you're sure it looks like you kind of flunk through the air when you're releasing electricity. Is it slowing your fall somehow? Yep. Magnetic field forms underneath me while I'm electrified and causes me to fall more slowly. I can use my hover mobility in tandem with mid-air jumps to get over nasty terrain. Feel free to rely on me when the time comes. That's insanely useful. Guess I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So when you dash into an enemy, you get to lock onto them and it doesn't even hurt you? You really can do it all up. Well, it's not like I can do anything. I'm just copying a move from a non-addict I fought a long time ago. A non-addict can move like that? You've got to be kidding me. It's true. You bounce off walls and ceilings and seriously break their speeds. His mobility was unbelievable. I've 
yet to fight another enemy as menacing as him. Come on, there's no way a non-adult could put up a fight against you. What was it called again? You know, that really brutal attack of yours? You mean the Voltaic Buster? It's an attack specially designed to take down a single target without fail. Is it really that brutal? Sure looks like overkill for where I'm standing. Against a simple defense droid, it may seem that way. Against a primal dragon class adept, it's probably a different story. I doubt I can subdue one using just that. But it should do well after they've been worn down a good bit. Oh, I'm sure it's a super useful ability. I just can't help but feel sorry for whoever's taking it on the chin. Even with your full power released, my fetters were able to keep you from going berserk. We should still be careful going forward, though. I don't remember GV being this savage. I guess being a primal dragon definitely makes your powers more op <laughs> more OP and stuff. Using your power will drain the fetters gauge from now on. The fetters gauge represents the stability of my seal on your power. You could also think of it as your stamina. Stamina. Oh, so basically, in this game, using Gunvolt is basically like, uh, using the Devil Trigger in Devil May Cry. So, you can't use them for long. It will decrease pretty slowly when you're doing nothing, but it'll drain very quickly when using Pervasion or Powerful Attacks. But don't you worry. If it runs out, you'll just return to your doggy form. You won't go berserk or anything. Got it. I'll keep it in mind. I'd prefer to stay in this form, if at all possible. Aw, too bad. I like your doggy form better. It's all fluffy and stuff. The fetters gauge will recover as long as I'm in the front doing the fighting, so we'll work more efficiently by taking turns. However, I can't switch places with you until the fetters gauge is at least 100% full. We just can't take any chances with your power. Don't forget that. Understood. I'll do whatever I can to assist. Even if it's only for a short time. Also, if you really want to keep the gauge up, press down twice and keep it held the second time. You can concentrate your energy to keep the gauge from decreasing. You won't be able to move, but you'll still evade enemy attacks with pervasion. So it might come in handy at the right time. I'll need some time to adjust to this, but I'll keep it in mind when I want to preserve the fetters gauge. Huh? Can I switch back now? Nope. Oh, swip they swapped me back already. Cool. Oh, are we at the boss already? I'm sensing something. So this is our first boss. Yo, babe. How you doing? You picked a fine day to take your dog for a walk. Why is a cutie like you out all by yourself? I'll be damned. It speaks. This is very different from your situation, Gunvolt. Come on now. We were just having a nice chat here. Why you gotta bring up some other dude's name? The name's Black Batch. How about you and me paint the town red on this holy night? Sorry, I'm not into smooth talkers like you. Besides, you're a wanted man. Ouch, total ice queen. You're just gonna diss me like that? It's always like that, huh? Nobody gives a damn about me. That's it. I've had it. I'm gonna destroy everything on this holy night. I can't stand any of ya! Listen up, everybody! This is an announcement! Christmas is officially canceled! Hip cat hit the bricks! All you head turning ladies and gents are in for a rough night! All you happy couples get a ticket for a romantic cruise straight to hell! This guy's all over the place. He's definitely gone berserk. Like it that? seems like he might still have a piece of himself. Has he lost control of his emotions? I like ya! I 
see how it is. You like totally that. got turned on for a Christmas date, didn't you? You're like the ultimate buzzkill. Maybe that's why you're still <laughs> single. <laughs> the dragon radiation is causing him to go out of control. It's not his fault. Hey!